So now that we know how to return something after the user goes to a specific URL, now the question is, what type of data can we return? Well, we can pretty much return any type of data. So we can here, as we, as we have seen earlier, we can return string. We can return even a dictionary. So here, if you create a uh, variable called, let me say, here, person, and then it's going to be equal to a dictionary. I'm going to say here, uh, website, website. Let me, name, let me say first name and website, so name name and then uh, website name my name and then uh, website and then website my website common code dot com and then I, I can now return this person I can return this person variable instead of returning this string so I can here say return and then person person now if you save and if you run your uh, application one more time. I have already, uh, as you have seen, I have already executed this file. If you haven't, you need to uh, execute your file and then it's gonna uh, deploy your project on your local server. So let me head on over back to the browser and show you what's gonna happen. So now in the browser, if you refresh, guess what? What, what we have now is that we have a dictionary. So we have here a dictionary returned to us because I returned here a dictionary instead of a a uh, simple string. So you can return a string, we, you, you can return a dictionary, and most of all, you can return HTML, which is the, probably the most important thing in uh, web applications because you need to return a page that is well designed, and that can be obviously done by using HTML and, and CSS. So how can we return HTML uh, page to the user? Well, to return an HTML, first of all, we need to do three steps. The first step is that we need to import what's called the render render template. So first of all, you need to return this, you need to import this render template. And then instead of this person, I'm going to remove this person. We no longer need this person. Here we need to return and then we need to use the render template. And then this render template takes two parameters. The first parameter is the uh, template or the file, the HTML file that you want to return. So, for example, let me return a file called index.html. But we don't have we don't have this HTML file yet. And it takes also another parameter, and it's optional. I'm going to talk about it, about it later. But for now. We need to return uh, just we need just to return the index.html, but we don't have that that H, uh, that index.html file, so we need to create it. Where should we create this index.html? Well, we need here in our project we need to create a new folder called templates, templates, and this templates folder must be named templates. It must be named templates, and then hit enter. And then inside that template or templates uh, folder, you need to create this index.html. So in, in this uh, templates, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it index.html. And now we have this index.html, but it's empty. It's empty. We need to add some code. So you can add some code quickly by typing uh, exclamation and then hit enter. And this is going to add the basic uh, output of uh, HTML. So here you can, just for testing, I'm going to add h1 and then I'm going to say this is this is flask app and let me now save everything and let me head on over back to the browser and refresh and, and show you what's going to happen. So now if you refresh, guess what? We have, now we have HTML file returned to us. So we have this HTML file returned to us, and we know how we now know how to return HTML page to the user.